how do we deal with unpredictability and the uncertainty of any bodily sensation, but in particular vertigo or even tinnitus? When we get these random bouts of vertigo, it is literally like, you know, the rug being pulled from underneath us. It can be so, so scary in its extreme. Some people actually think they're having a heart attack and dying. So this is, it's a big deal. So what do we do about it? I want you to listen right through to the end because I'm going to talk about home exercises and things that you can use to support yourself. But essentially learning to deal, live with and be grace, graceful through unpredictability and uncertainty is an enormously potent skill for life because even beyond bodily sensations, vertigo, et cetera, life itself is incredibly uncertain. And we need to have skills to help us genuinely ground into uncertainty. So part of this for vertigo and for my clients who have unwanted bodily sensations is really understanding their anchor and their grounding. We anchor ourselves through any emotional turbulence and any sensory turbulence. And to anchor ourselves means to know where the center of our body is physically, to locate ourselves back into the center of our body and to anchor. It could be that we're going through um, a few minutes of essentially feeling like we're in a tornado or we're in some very disruptive sensory space. Things don't make sense. We might not be able to see clearly, think clearly, and we may also be experiencing all the very normal emotions such as panic and anxiety that happen, right? So we've got the full package. We're inside the storm, the tornado, the hurricane It's happening. We have to be able to come into our body, center ourselves and anchor. So part of this process is body scanning and locating your center and establishing your own anchor. And we want to be able to practice this any day, everywhere we are. And so we don't necessarily want to be learning or practicing while we're in the middle of vertigo, anxiety, or panic. So being able to ground ourselves means we're accessing more of our proprioception. Proprioception being one of our eight senses and it's where we are able to sense, feel, locate, and orient our body. So is my head, you know, um, centered? Am I leaning forward? Am I looking up? You know, is my left shoulder over my left hip? Where are my elbows? Where are my knees, my ankles, my toes? We're physically orienting the body. Um, body scanning, we do eyes closed, generally speaking. You start somewhere safe. You can do it sitting, standing, lying, kneeling. Technically, you can do it walking. But what I encourage you to do is to find ways to get back into your body and scan yourself head to toe and start to locate your center and start to notice where you feel anchored. And I also really mean that emotionally, so an emotional anchor that's physically located in the body. So this is something that you can do incorporating some really gentle, simple breath awareness and allowing yourself to just come more and more and more into yourself. With time, you will begin to feel so comfortable in your body that when you do have very random and disruptive vertigo or dizziness events, they come and go with no anxiety. Why? Because you know how to stay in your body, you know how to anchor, and you know how to ride that little sensory blip with no big deal. It doesn't ruffle you. It doesn't upset you. It's not a drama. You literally move through it. It passes and you carry on with your day. So visit seekingbalance.com.au. You can start with the free starter kit. You can get to know our community. You can join our Facebook group. And I really invite you to look into the full Rocksteady program if you want to really harness this, these, this skill set, actually, and to have a methodology for how you can deepen this practice in very, very many ways. So you've got that robust, no big deal connection to yourself and no matter what the day brings, no matter how unpredictable and uncertain some of these sensory disruptions may be, you know you can handle it. You feel resourced, you feel like you've got capacity, and it just washes over you. This is what we're aiming for in Rocksteady, that you stay in your body, you know yourself, and you can really handle anything. Once we've got those skills, often the vertigo and dizziness disappear, and we end up using these skills ongoing in daily in daily life through marriage, relationships, friendships, work, career, all of that. So it really is the gift that keeps on giving. Visit seekingbalance.com.au for more info and to join our community. Bye for now.